Knicks lose 116-113. It was a valiant comeback effort, guys. It was a valiant comeback effort. You know, they were down by as much as 20-something points most of the game. Uh, but you, you had a spirited second-half performance, one by R.J. Barrett, and a fourth quarter to remember for Emmanuel Quickly. Emmanuel Quickly once again showing Tom Thibodeau that he wants to be the guy. He wants to be the point guard to lead this team. Quickly pours in 29 points, 5 of 8 from downtown, 8 of 17 from the field with four dimes. It was Quickly's effort in that fourth quarter that, that really sparked us and brought us back into the game and brought us to, to within four points, 95 to 91. But uh, a quick five-point burst by the Blazers is is really what, uh, you know, kept us at bay, you know, kept it at a, a 10-point lead, and, and the Knicks couldn't recover from there. Uh, JJLs, what's your post-game thoughts, man? Uh, listen, Blazers hit a lot of shots early. First half, Dame went 100% from everywhere. <laughs> from free throw line, from three-point line, from the field. Um, also, a little bit too much Alfred Payton. Yeah. For, for my liking, you know. Uh, I feel like we should have pulled them a lot, out a lot sooner. Once Dame started cooking, we should have put them out a lot sooner. And went with IQ, especially the way he was playing. IQ was kind of cooking earlier, so I, I would like the ref. I mean, the ref. I would like Tom Thibodeau just to make those decisions quicker. Also, to, to stay with that theme of making – decisions quicker Alec Burks Alec Burks hit a few threes yeah. in a row um then he decides to take Alec Burks out took so, took Alec Burks out right yeah. yeah yeah exactly so I feel like uh, those two decisions affected the game but I do like how the Knicks kind of fought back on the defensive end stop the shot stopped hitting in the second half for the Portland Trailblazers and we were able to climb back in this game, especially because of the IQ. Did man. a good job trying to keep the ball out of Dame's hands too late late in the game and try to let other guys beat him um, mm -hmm. And that was working and helped them uh, claw back into the game. A Ash, what's your post-game thoughts? You know, it's debilitating to play from behind. Yeah. It's, you know, it's hard. It's exhausting. And although, you know, like everyone said, it was a good fight, this wasn't enough. And, you know, that's why rotations are so important. And I think this speaks to Tibbs' rotations. They're just not the proper ones. They're not the ones that are going to keep us or get us in the game. And I don't understand why Peyton played so many minutes the way he was playing. I don't understand why RJ wasn't more in the game, more involved, especially, you know, in crunch. Um, there's just a lot of things about it that although we were able to cut it within three, you know, shout out to IQ, 31 points today for a rookie. Very impressive. I mean, he yeah. put on a show tonight. It just speaks to a bigger problem, and that is the problem of when are you going to kind of go against the grain of what you want to do in your stubbornness and do what's better for the betterment of this team, and that is using the rotations that work. Um, so for me, that's what I'm looking for in this next game against Utah is going with the rotations that are the most conducive to winning games. And right now, Tibbs is just not, you know, utilizing his stubborn, property. yeah, it's stubborn in his ways. And you know, it, this was a winnable game. This really was. It started off not so hot, but in the second half, things were kind of clicking for us, and mm -hmm. it was winnable. It didn't have to be like this. Yeah, de definitely winnable. Um, you can certainly question, you know, the amount of time that Rivers got into the game. There, there wasn't uh, much RJ. No RJ yeah. at all in the fourth quarter. It looked like, you know, we, we haven't seen the Thibodeau press conferences yet, but it looked like Tibbs was going with matchups here and putting yeah. Rivers on Dame. You know, we'll see what he says at the, at the post game. But, uh, again, uh, quickly did his best. Did his best to, to to keep us in this thing. I thought Julius all night was was pretty flustered uh, by the zone and also by Canner. You know, give credit to Canner. You know, we used to dog him when he was on this team because he couldn't play defense worth a lick. I thought um, once they got out the zone and, and went one on ones, I thought Canner did a good job of frustrating Julius also on the defensive end, um, forced him into a couple turnovers, a couple travels, and then a couple jump balls, uh, a jump ball at the end, and and uh, the Knicks couldn't couldn't convert that either. So. So, you know, the Blazers did a good job of um, of closing the deal. And, yeah. uh, you know, as Ashley said, can't play from behind all, all game. And this was a, a good three-point shooting team that killed us in the in the first half, especially um, some open shots and some just tough contested shots between Dame and uh, Anthony Simons was killing IQ in that mm -hmm. first half. So Knicks were battling most of that, uh, that first half. Defense and energy just wasn't there. But uh, try to turn the tables in the second half. It just they just ran out of time. 
Yeah, we just ran out of time, man. And then we hit shots today. We started to hit shots. We see 41% from three. Yeah. We, st- we started to fight back. But like you said, like the the coming from behind is never easy. And when you have to exert so much energy to fight for every possession, you kind of almost have to play perfect when you get down 20 points. It's, it's kind of crazy that we're even in this game. Yeah. Because we were down 20 for a very long time and just kind of pulled together in the last second and changed our defensive strategy. We started trapping Dame at the top a lot um increased our ball pressure forced a lot of turnovers the defense here into offense and we're back in this game but too little too late for the knicks man a little too little too yeah. late man and i mean and also when you're playing from behind not only is it debilitating from a standpoint of energy and you're just constantly like jl said you have to play perfect but you know leaving little room for error as you can see the officiating has not been great not only in yeah. this game but multiple games the knicks have played and there's been a lot of questionable calls or lack thereof so when you are playing from behind and you're playing from behind at some point in such a big gap, double digit gaps. I mean, you're leaving a lot of it to not only play perfect as a team, but you're leaving a lot of it in the hands for the refs to call a perfect yeah. game, which as we see, they are incapable. Nah, I can't of, do that. You know? I can't, so, can't do that, man. Yeah. There's a lot of things that, you know, went wrong. And although it's hard to click, like you guys said, a little bit too late. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, man, and and so you you also wish you had a little bit more better contribution from the second unit. Uh, our guy, corner boy Kev, quiet again tonight. Only two points, 0 for three from downtown, which has been his forte, especially in terms of giving this team a lift in their wins. Austin Rivers continuing to struggle. You know, we, yeah. we're gonna give him some time, but he continues to struggle. Only one for three, only three shot attempts. Three points, three dimes, you know, lackluster from Rivers. Again, it was IQ's 31 points. I said 29 before. It was 31 points, four dimes, five of eight from downtown, eight free throw attempts for Emmanuel quickly. Did a yeah. great job really forcing the issue and, and putting that pressure on that Portland defense in the second half, man. Quickly was outstanding and, and nothing short of it. Absolutely, man. I can't wait till this guy's developed for real. Cause yeah, there was some because he he ended up with thirty one points today, ZP, and there were so moments where I'm just like, that's not the right move. Yeah. Quickly, that, like, <laughs> yeah. just uh, yeah. like I, I was frustrated in moments, but I'm frustrated in the end with thirty one points and almost winning the game. So. I, I like this kid a lot. Yeah, man. the future's bright. And, and I and I love the fact that um, you know Tibbs's adjustment was was making sure that we got quickly the ball as a shooter. You know, playing him a bit more off ball in the fourth quarter, um, because as, as effective as he is, you know, with the ball in his hands, we need that three point shot, bro. We, yeah, we maybe need that's that three point shot. Maybe that's why he was going with all servers as well. Yeah, you know, what I mean? maybe he just felt more comfortable with him being like a a, a dribble, like a on um a playmaker. And maybe a threat to hit a three, even though he hasn't been hitting threes lately. Maybe that's what was his rationale. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, man.